Okay, so hi. So today I'm going to make one of my favorite foods, bread. Yeah, I love bread. I never used to make my own breads until we had the Thermomix. So previously I used to have a bread maker, but I never liked how the breads turned out in the bread maker. And then I tried to make breads with no need bread methods and I, I never liked how it turned out. But with this one, this has been a lifesaver, a huge lifesaver. So I'm going to do uh, just a regular bread. It's not an Asian bread, which means it doesn't have any sugar. It doesn't have, uh, uh, it doesn't have milk. Um, it doesn't have a lot of butter. It's just the basic four ingredients, which are uh, salt, yeast, flour, and water. And that's it. Okay, so it's very easy. I pulled up a recipe from uh, Cookie Do. This is my favorite recipe, and this is my go-to recipe. So um, I think if you have ever come to my place, you would have probably tried this bread and so this is the one that I make all the time okay so the recipe is in French so I'm just going to do it in English and if you need the recipe just let me know I'll translate it into English for you so I need some water okay a little bit more but it doesn't matter then go to my next ingredient which is my uh, um, my levure, uh, which is my yeast Okay. Next, I add in my bread flour, which is here. Okay, so I turn it up again. And then next, I add in some salt. I'm using Himalayan salt. And that's about it. And I'm just going to knead it for five minutes. That's it. Okay, okay so the bread is done. Or well, the dough is done, rather. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, it's really easy. I'm just going to take this out of the bowl. And it looks like that. I turn it over this one over here. I give the little knob a little twist and up, oh, it comes perfectly. There you go, pretty clean. Um, so at this point in time, what I do is I just shape it into a ball, like so, to let it rest. Right? That's very much it. And yeah. I take a dishcloth, a little tea towel, and I cover this. And I put it aside and I set it aside for one hour. Um, and uh, that's about it. And after that, I will just shape it, put it in a cast iron pot. Yes, I use a cast iron pot for this. And I bake my bread in that. I love this recipe because I don't have to preheat the oven. So that's fantastic. It goes into a cold oven. So we'll, I'll see you in about an hour's time. We'll see how it turns out later. Hi. Okay, it's been an hour. So I'm going to have a look at my bread now. I'm going to take it out. And all I did was cover it with a little towel. Okay, so there you go. It's risen. So what I do is I take it out from here and I just put it on my, um, I have a glass chopping board which I use for everything. So I like it. So I just put it on my glass chopping board. It doesn't stick. Uh, then I don't have to flour the, I don't have to flour the top as well. Okay, so just push it on there. I can see some of the gas, the holes inside. Mm. Okay, and as you can see, um, I have an oval uh, cast iron pot. So what I did was I, I greased it with some butter and then uh, I put some flour in it. Now here's a tip for you. Uh, when you grease, what I do with my butter is I always keep this bit. And what I do is instead of having to, you know, uh, dirty my hands or use something else, I just take the cover, I've got some butter on it, I just put it in my cast iron pot, the pot, the lid, whatever, and I just rub it all over. So that's how I grease my pots without getting my hands really oily. Okay, so there I go. I have my little, um, I don't know if you can see. You can hear some of the bubbles popping. So it's quite nice. I don't really have to do this. Uh, I'm doing it because I like to do it. It makes me feel as though I'm, I'm such a chef and such a, you know. 
like a fantastic baker, boulangère. Okay, so I shape it like this, very easy, very simple. Uh, sometimes if you want, you can, uh, some people they fold it over and then they do a little pat. I, I really don't bother. I just want to make this uh, simple so that you know that really anybody can do it, right? So I've got this shape like this. I put it now in my cast iron pot like so. Okay, I have a shaving blade. If you don't have a blade, you can just use a knife, a very sharp knife. But I have a blade and I just uh, score my bread like that. Okay, something very simple. You don't even have to do this. You can just score one line down and one line the other side. That's perfectly fine. Okay, then I spray it with some water. Okay, and then I take some of my flour. And I just sprinkle the bread with it. And then I cover this. And it goes into the oven for an hour at 240. Just put it down here. I close it. And then I bake it at uh, 240. Turn on my oven first. Oh, it's already hit maximum. Yeah, okay. And I bake it at 240. Somebody didn't put my oven back in the original position. Mm -hmm. Hi! I'm ready to take my bread out of the oven. Let's have a look. So that's the sound of freshly baked bread with a lovely uh, crust. Um, I wish there was smell -a vision because nothing really beats uh, freshly baked bread. It's heavenly. Okay, so we're going to cut the bread now. Can you hear the crunch? bread it's really soft it's really nice right 